Hey everybody, happy day five of the Heartbreak Remedy devotional. It's your girl Renee Yvonne. If this is your first time joining me on the Renew with Renee channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you'll be informed when future videos post. Today, during day five of the Heartbreak Remedy devotional, we are talking about the free of strongholds. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I have written a book that is actually an online ebook and is available on Barnes & Noble for you to pick up at your reading convenience. And there's no better time than what's going on with everything concerning this virus in order for you to dig in deep and work on healing whatever area in your life that needs to be healed. The Heartbreak Remedy devotional is all about just restoring yourself, your spirit, in essence to the way God created you to be and not living a life that's in lack or shorter than what God created it to be. So anywho, like I was saying, today we're talking about the freeing of strongholds. And so if you're not familiar with what a stronghold is, a stronghold is a mindset, a value system, thought process that basically hinders growth it is also a accusation that's planted firmly in one's mind to establish lies and falsehoods and misconceptions regarding the character of God or the nature of God himself, him herself. And so the reason why I chose the freeing of strongholds and felt it was really important on the healing journey is because strongholds can limit our ability to receive information because oftentimes and it, the older that we get we like to judge something right off of the bat if it doesn't sound right if it goes against what mom and dad told us um, a lot of us aren't really open to receiving new information the older that we get and so what happens is that a stronghold because of what it is and it's planted so firmly in within our minds that we have to really be open for healing. And if we aren't open to questioning every single thing that led us to this point of our lives to where we have or we're going through heartbreak, then how can you really heal? So a lot of the things that um, we go through concerning strongholds is something that's been planted very firmly from like when we were children and we didn't even know. I have so many things that happened. I remember I went away to college and I forgot what it was, but I was for sure because my mom told me or my dad told me something, you know, and I just rolled with it. I believed it like it was the truth. I didn't question it um, as generally children do, right? But then when I became older and I tried to use this piece of information in a college course, it was absolutely wrong. And so it allowed me the opportunity uh, to one, really open my eyes to see that, hey, you know what, maybe there's other things that I was told or other things that other people have shared with me where I need to go back and I need to really take a look at the depth or where these things, where these thoughts, where these beliefs, um, where these, um, where these, uh, yeah, these beliefs come from. So some of the um, most famous or some examples of strongholds are um, the example of the African-American woman um, or a single mom and a single dad and hashtag no judgment with anybody because I've, I've been a single mom before and um, I had taken pride in it because a narrative within the black home for me specifically was that if you you know um, were single to to be very pride you know prideful about your independence to be very independent and I don't need a man and Everybody's story is a little bit different. And like I said, it's no judgment to anybody in their plight because I believe that to be a single parent, it takes a lot of stamina. It takes a lot to be able to pull it off. And sometimes it's just the circumstances, the way that life goes. Some people are single parents and it's not even their fault. So anyways, but when we have, you know, two people joining together and then you decide that, 
you don't want to come together anymore for sake of the child and you want to be a single parent things like this you know can be ingrained into the child and can alter the way that the child thinks about uh, marriage later on in life and so on another example is uh, mean-spirited individuals um, because hurt people hurt people and so with mean-spirited individuals it's anybody that's gone through trauma and um, because of whatever they've gone through they have a bias or a prejudice towards something and so it alters and affects the, their relationships with individuals henceforth a stronghold right and so <clears throat> and so it's really important to um, once again go through everything that you've been told especially if you're older or you're you know 30s and up um, even 20s just to investigate every single thing that you've been told as you encounter certain situations in life just to ensure that you've really gotten a full scope of each situation because there's a great chance that you could be in bondage of a stronghold now um, another reason why I felt like it was really important to address strongholds in the healing process is because strongholds can really keep you falling short from the true nature of God. God is a God of freedom and authority. And so if we're operating in a vibration that's anything less than freedom and authority and pure love, First Corinthians kind of love, then I'm pretty sure that it deserves investigation. Definitely, for sure. Now there is a video that I'm actually going to share with you um, if you look at the comments below, it's by Eric Mason. And if you want to learn more about the Freedom of Strongholds, I definitely definitely would recommend for you to watch this video. It's really good because he's breaking down strongholds and what they mean in such a way that it's really easy for you to understand. And he gives really great examples. So I'm going to put the link to that video below. You should definitely check it out. It's not even that long. It's probably like a couple minutes if that but once again the freedom of strongholds is really important of the healing process and i think that is something that's often overlooked just because i believe that we want to believe that the way that we think about things is the right way and it's always harder to unlearn something than to be a child and learn it right the first way right so it takes more effort and energy to unlearn something and to establish a new habit, a new way of thinking, and application into our lives. So the freeing of strongholds is really important. And um, as I continue along in my journey, my whole experience with um, coming to the actualization that I've been living under many strongholds that haven't served me in my life has been really key and crucial. And it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of self-love to get through the process. And it also takes a lot of supporting members, whether it be family, friends, or significant other to really get you through this process. But if you are a single individual and you are yearning to really heal and get through the process to start navigating through you know, any strongholds you feel like you might have, I would suggest that you go out and just begin to have conversations. Keep a journal, like I say in all my videos, keep a journal of certain situations to where maybe you're noticing indifferences in conversation, where you feel like um, somebody's thought process might be a little bit different, or even questions that you might be asking yourself. If you recognize there's something that you were taught to do because of religious beliefs in your family or acceptance, but in your heart, the way God created it to be, you wanna do something different, that also is a great area to investigate. There's so many different things that we run across on a daily basis that serve as the perfect pedestals to really start addressing the way that we think all it takes is for us to really understand that we're worth the investment and to just go for it and just to do it. So yes, day five, the freeing of strongholds. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below, ask me questions. I'm always checking the comment threads. Subscribe to the Renew with Renee channel so I can get you ready for day six and day seven. I'm finishing up this thing. The sometimes the, uh, it, what is it, what's the saying? 
slow but steady wins the race. And so the, it's been my theme, but I'm really excited and I'm grateful to have the opportunity to be able to share these seven days with you. No matter what day you are, if you just catching on on day seven, go back to day, um, excuse me, day seven. If you're just catching on to today's day, day five, then go back and watch days one through four as well. This is a free gift to um, from me to you. And so once again, I'm really grateful to be able to share the first seven days of my book, The Heartbreak Remedy Devotional with you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and post the content from the YouTube video from Eric Mason, the biblical definition of strongholds in the chat below. Make sure you watch that video. And as always, you can catch me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I'm redoing my website at this current moment. But um, you can always email me over social media. I am available if you have any questions. Y'all, as always, be blessed.